think there's going to be a little bit of tension between the legends of like what we should do with them when Constantine's like, just let's just send them all to hell. I mean, when we start off, Sarah's feeling pretty good. Like, they, we just saved, saved the world with Mo Mollis, like, done, check. She's got a girlfriend. Like, she's starting to build a life for herself and feeling like, okay, I think we figured this out. And as soon as you start to feel like you figure something out, as, as is life, everything changes. Ray is uh, second-guessing his decision to give Nora a dark time stone uh, as the season kind of begins. As he should. As he should. I mean, he, you know, he, he, he was a, it, w it was a hasty, maybe a hasty decision in the beginning, but he, it was his ability, his, 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 his want to trust in the betterment of uh, people and that people, everybody gets a second chance. Um, but certain things start to happen in the first couple episodes and he starts to question uh, that decision and think maybe Nora's up to no good again. We ended last season with a huge splash. We had this giant monumental battle between Bebo and Malice, which uh, resulted in, of course, a victory for us. But in releasing Malice from his cage, we created another problem, which is now there are magical creatures from myth, legends, fairy tales that have been spat out across time and now it's the legend's job, per usual, to go clean up their mess. We kind of opened the door to everything. Mystical creatures, fantasy, like we are now open game to everybody. There were multiple animals on set. I can't say more about it than that. Fairy tales, mythical creatures, Urban legends. Urban legends. Well, I'll say there was a horse, but it's not what you think. Okay. There's a lot of opportunity to see some cool stuff this season. But they, they, they probably won't be the way you think they are. They, they, whatever the creature, they'll be changed in some way in true legends fashion. And there's sort of a um, question of are they really evil? Some are and some are misunderstood. So I think there's going to be a little bit of tension between the legends of like what we should do with them when Constantine's like, just let's just send them all to hell. And we're a little bit like, wait, 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 that's not really what we do. So it's, it's going to be a good conflict, I think. Yeah, we find actually that having those kind of character shakeups are, are kind of the lifeblood of a season of our show. It really helps to have that that revolving door in a way of people coming in and out like as their stories begin and as they end you know people sort of naturally move on but um, when you have that energy that's different from anybody else's come on the show it really forces everyone else to sort of adjust themselves and kind of grow and, and it, it pushes everybody's buttons in a really fun way because then you know that's that's where the drama comes out and where the relationships are formed and you know the challenges for for uh, everyone on the ship how is Mick going to get along with Constantine, are they going to get along? Well, no, they're not going to get along. Um, you know, he does, that's what everyone's been asking me, and uh, the dynamic between Mick and Constantine is going to be very, very funny, very funny. I've, I've actually seen a few, few scripts ahead, and um, everyone's really psyched on it. He's an outsider, but he even maybe more so than any of the other legends, so watching him interact with all of us is, is going to be interesting. We love Constantine. Uh, back when I was on Arrow, I was part of the push to bring him onto Arrow as a guest star, and then of course when I moved on to Legends of Tomorrow, it was like we really just wanted him to live in this universe. We love him so much. We're sort of this bad news bears show Probably. where like everybody, I mean, everybody has a place with us, no matter where you're from or what show you're from. You always have like sort of a place with legends.